and international. They are board certified immigration law specialists. Contact us to schedule a consultation in our South Pasadena office via phone, email, or Skype. And follow us on social media and Yelp. Don't forget to catch our next monthly live show with Aquino and Lowe Law Firm on January 5th, answering your immigration questions. All right, we are back on Kababayan today. We are taking your calls. Kasama natin si June mula sa Torrance. June, ano po yung tanong ninyo? Uh, magandang hapon na ako si June. Uh, nag, uh, Nag-asawa ko ako. Oo. Tapos uh, nag-deny ko ng una dahil uh, may pumuntang immigration sa bahay namin na wala ako. Oo. Uh, tapos uh, nag-reapply ko ako ulit. Uh, uh, may chance ko kaya ako mabigyan ng green card. Okay, so he got married. Apparently, somebody from immigration went to their house. He wasn't there at the time, so uh, he got denied. And so now he's asking, does he still have a chance to get a green card? Well, that's a, that's a very good question. And the petitioner, in the, the original petitioner, can always re-petition that person and go through that process again. And I would, that would be something you would want to do because once there has been a determination of marriage fraud, which it sounds like that's what there, were, there was, then that is not possible for him to get a visa in any other way. So it's really important that he figure out how he's going to either pursue this in a new petition or if there's time for an appeal to appeal that decision uh, because you want to take that off and you want to put your arguments that it was a real marriage out there so that you can go forward. Okay. Kasama natin si Jovita mula sa Long Beach. Jovita, nandyan po kayo? Yes, I am here. Hi. Hi. Kumusta na? Okay naman. Ano po yung tanong ninyo? Ang tanong ko, I became a citizen and I, uh, during that time, my daughter is 15 years old. Will my daughter be automatically uh, become a U.S. citizen or does she need to apply herself? Okay, so uh, the question's pretty straightforward. Uh, do I get an easy one? Yes, you get an easy <laughs> uh, one today. If you, the daughter is a permanent resident living in the United States in the custody of her, her mother, then yes, she's a U.S. citizen by operation of law. She doesn't have to apply for anything but a passport. She can apply for a certificate of citizenship if she likes, but she can also go directly to the passport agency with proof that her mom is now a U.S. citizen, that she was a permanent resident, and then they were living here in the United States, and they will give her a passport. All right, great. Kasama rin natin si Lisa. Lisa, ano, yung pa ano po yung tanong ninyo? Hello, good afternoon. Kumusta? Hello, good afternoon sa inyo. Nanonood sa inyo. Hindi kasi po, green card holder kaming mag-asawa. Okay, so the two of you, um, husband and wife, are green card holders. Yeah, and then, you may, may two sons kami. Dalawang anak? 35 years old and 31. Okay. Single yung 35, yung 31, nag-asawa ng nurse na may work visa sa New Zealand. Okay. Eh, ang tanong po, they are, they are holding visitors visa, lagi sila nagpupunta rito. Okay. Kung i-apply ko ba sila, uh, kunyari, kung pipetitioning ko ba sila, marerevoke ba yung kanilang uh, visitors visa? Kasi okay, so uh, we, we have limited amount of time. So uh, the question, Ali, is um, uh, well, how, how does she move forward? Exactly, and so her main concern is whether the tourist visa will be revoked. Right. And actually, no. Uh, the tourist visa remains valid. They can still continue traveling on the tourist visa, even if they move forward with any type of family-based or even an employment-based petition. Okay, wonderful. Great news. Thank you so much. We will see you guys again next year, I guess. Happy holidays. I know. I can't believe it's December already. I just want to say uh, it's been such a pleasure doing this live show with attorney Allison Aquino Silva and attorney Richard Lowe. You guys make my job really fun, and I'm so glad we're able to help Kababayans who really need advice out there. Same with us. Yeah. All right, thank you thank so you. much, guys. And remember, give them a call. It's a free consultation. You can call 1-888-797-1140. If you have questions, remember, get the proper advice. You have to make sure that uh, you get legal advice na talaga namang matutulungan kayo, di po ba? Alright, maraming salamat po. Ako po si G. Tonji mula sa Kababayan Today. Salamat po.